Tis a miserable day, it's raining, it's grey, it's windy, and it sucks. So let's stay indoors and do a review. That looks weird. That's the mannequin that I use for like, without his mask on. It's like Zorro or something. Yeah. Yeah, there's the mask over here. I hope you enjoyed the recent videos where I donned the mask once more and put on the Big Mac coveralls and um, you know, did the old Michael Myers thing. Got my other body and young cell coveralls ready to go here with the Mad Bug slash Silent Surfer head which is actually on the way now. I can review that soon. This video will be a review on the Cool Models 1 4th scale HD body body. I intend to use this for a 1 4th scale custom Michael Myers with a head sculpt by Ones Customs and coveralls by the amazing Tanila. A knife uh, from uh, Tanila's husband Dave. So, all in all, going to be a sick, sick piece. Michael Myers from 1978 in 1 4th scale. Just need to figure out the boots situation. I think Ones Customs actually making them himself, they're just not ready yet. So that will be cool. So let's do this. Let's review the body. God, I love this mask so much. It's so awesome. But I really got to stop wearing it. Um, two years now I've done little videos just walking around dressed up as Michael Myers and it's great fun to do. Um, but I do worry about this mask getting damaged from wearing it, pulling it on and off. I try to be gentle, but you know, it's a tight mask. You've got to get it on your head somehow. All right, so here's the packaging. And I've just got these chucky boxes here just to kind of block the view of the mannequin legs sticking out because it looks a little bit odd. Uh, but anyway, here is the body. Here's the box. Uh, copyright 2016, I guess this came out. It's got uh, good joints and I'll show you all the bits inside. But yeah, simple box, nothing much to it. But this should do the job just fine for a 1 4th scale Michael Myers. Alright, let's get started. We shall look at the instruction. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got ourselves a visitor. The hound. The protector. Come on. Come on, Ruth. There you go. Come on. Oh, She's getting on a bit now. She's thinking, what the hell is that? That right there is Myers Mannequin. Go ahead and get yourself comfy. Alright. So, you've got the instructions. It looks like this. Whilst there's no neck, head, sculpture, installation. Alright, so, yeah, you can swap out a neck piece, which is handy. And some other little bits in case you want to pause that and have a look. see what's going on there and here it is the body that I'll be using I think pretty much everyone's using I mean I was advised to use this by Tanila and uh, I'm pretty sure this is what everyone's going to be using uh, who gets the you know the one fourth scale so what I'm looking for here is a good knife holding hand that seems to be the one right there so that will be and that's his right hand as well which will be accurate so it looks like a pretty good gripping hand. Tanila's husband, Dave, he's going to be putting together that that knife from 1978. So that's going to go in that hand pretty well. I like these relaxed hands. I'll probably go with that option sometimes as well. But you've got two gun holding hands here. The usual. There's another one here. And then I guess these are clenched fists. So yeah, we've got our clenched fist action. Yeah, it's a bit chilly today, guys, so I'm wearing the fingerless gloves. Here's that neck piece. So that's what I'll be using. I'll get a hairdryer or whatever and heat this up a little bit and just swap that out. So let's get a look at the body. It's got double jointed elbows, which is great. So you'll be able to get him holding the knife right up to his face kind of thing. And uh, all the articulation is present and correct. So yeah, there it is. Just wanted to get you guys uh, a little look at this thing because I don't really know if there are any reviews on YouTube. I haven't looked. There probably might be one or two reviews of this body out there. Just in case. Just wanted to let you see it. It does feel really good quality. It's got a nice weight to it. Mind you, it is one fourth scale, so it's going to have some weight. Uh, and that's about everything. What, what's this thing in here? There's a little doohickey. There it is. 
Um, I guess that might be for maybe like a different kind of connection, maybe for the neck bit. I don't know. I'll keep that there anyway, keep it safe. So, yeah. Do not eat, throw away. All right, so as you can see, the articulation in the arms is just great. You can do pretty much whatever you want to do. Lift them up nice and high, bend the elbow nice and uh, extreme. Even more, look at that, there you go. So that's gonna be very handy for pulling off all kinds of poses with Myers. And yeah, good balance. He's not too muscly, so that's good. The original 78 Myers was just a very regular looking guy proportion wise. There was nothing, you know, hulking about him. He was just a regular guy, early 20s. So I think this will represent his uh, shape very well. <laughs> shape. Now you can see the intricate kind of uh, system here. Probably nothing new, it's just nice to see it in one fourth scale because any one fourth scale figure I've ever had, you don't get to see the body because it's like usually a Batman figure with a bat suit all over it, or um, like a NECA figure where it's like a sculpted outfit that obviously you can't remove or do anything with. So, this is the first time we're kind of seeing the whole uh, joint system on a one fourth scale body. It's got that, what do you call it, like a butterfly joint where you can sort of move the uh, not just up and down but kind of forwards and backwards and just have a really good range of motion. So I won't go too crazy, I don't want to be uh, too rough with this, I don't want to break it, I'm pretty sure it's fine though, it feels very sturdy and durable and all that. My only other experience with cool models is the werewolf figure that's way down there at the other end, see that werewolf? That's a cool models figure, that's a great body, very, uh, very different from anything else because it is a werewolf that actually can transform into human form with interchangeable parts for the body, but yeah they seem to know what they're doing. So. I'm very excited. I think the uh, coveralls from Tanila and the knife from Dave, they're all coming as one thing and they should be here very soon. And the head sculpt from One's Customs looks incredible and I'm just not 100% sure whether that's actually shipped yet or not. I think it might have but I haven't actually received the tracking number yet or I might just need to check my emails better but I'll get in touch with One find out how far off the head sculpt is and I'll bring you a nice big review on this guy once he is complete with the coveralls and the head sculpt. Uh, he won't have any boots because I need to track some of those down or get some off one's customs once they're ready or even, last resort, make my own. Because uh, I'm thinking once the coveralls are on him, obviously the coveralls are going to come down to about here. All I need to do, and I'm sure I can do it, is just get some super sculpty clay. Uh, this stuff, which I have a lot more of in another bag somewhere. And surely I could just kind of sculpt my own, you know, just this much visible boots. You know, just get the tread right and just maybe sculpt some laces. I don't know. I might do it, I might not. I might just be patient and wait, it's just I really don't like the idea of having a barefoot Michael Myers standing there on the shelf. I'd have to film it and f uh, photograph it all the time from like, you know, that angle so that you can't see his feet. But it'll all work out in time. But the head sculpt from One's Customs looks really, really impressive. I think it's basically an upscaled version of the latest head sculpt he's done that he just calls Michael. So it does look like just an upscaled version of that. So I'm really excited to see it in person. But yeah, an impressive body. And I'm sure this will do the trick just fine. So anyway, guys, I'll keep it short and sweet. Not much else to show you, really. Just a great body for Michael Myers in one fourth scale. So I'll be bringing you more on that real soon. And plenty more content. I hope you've been enjoying the... Um, the Cult Creations Diorama videos. I've been doing some photography with those. Michael Myers, Chucky, stuff like that. Just having some fun for Halloween. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with you soon. Keep it locked. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, follow me on Instagram, Dean Knight333. I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.